Wool was king throughout the Central West to the last quarter of the 20th century. Most of the enterprises supporting wool have disappeared, with one major exception, the wool scour in Blackhall. I'm Annette Richardson, I'm the site supervisor of the wool scour, have been for the last four years and really enjoy the challenge. This is it. Um, it's the only one of 52 steam-driven wool scours left intact in Australia today. So the wool scour opened in 1908. In that time, the shearing shed was operational. We've got a 20-stand shed around there. The sheep were shorn there. Yards here would have held anything up to 40,000 sheep at any one time. Um, sheep were shorn and wool was baled and then bales were reopened and went through the scouring lines here. As well as the shearing that happened here, there was also wool came from other places in the district and it was all scoured here. So that came from as far as Emerald, Capella. So it was a fair area. We've got four tanks in the, in the washing line. The first, line was a, first tank was a soda ash wash. That got rid of all your rubbish, your burr, your uh, grease and your dirt. It then went into a soap wash. They made their own soap on site and two clean rinses before it came through here to the dryers. So it was only about an hour from opening the bale, coming through, dried and blown upstairs. Blown upstairs, it went into its own bins, property by property, and from there rebaled and out by rail to export mainly. Even though they lost 40% of each bale as it went through scouring in your burr, dirt and grease, it paid them to scour the wool because it actually doubled their money. So they've lost that weight but still made up with it in clean wool easier to transport because they could put more on, on the wagons by double dumping them here as well which compressed the bales to half the size so they did fit more on. So we're quite proud of the fact that two million dollars in heritage funding went in to restore the place in 2000-2001. Um, many hands got things together before then and there's just been a terrific job gone on and you can see what we've got today it's just world class. They had a woodcutter's paddock here the where they'd go and get the Genji timber and there's still plenty around today. The boilers, we've got the original Babcock Wilcox boiler out there. It was stoked. They used about a tonne and a half to two tonne of timber a day, per day, to feed those boilers. Boilers went 24 hours a day. Um, scouring plant worked 24 hours a day, shearing done eight. So the scour worked around the clock to keep up with the wool that was being stockpiled there for scouring. The water, um, the bore was actually sunk here specifically for the wool scour. They knew they wanted to build the wool scour. There was five graziers initially that got together and built it. The only stipulation with the bore was it be no further than three mile from town because they wanted to build a scour with it. But water had to be at least 50 do, 52 degrees to melt the fat in the wool. This was 58 and a soft water, so it was perfect for scouring. So it comes from the Great Artesian Basin and about 200,000 gallons a day was used for scouring. A uh, steam engine that we have here, it's a 45 horsepower steam engine. It's got a 14 inch piston and it works by steam from a new, new boiler today. We actually run the steam engine to pull the machinery from May until the end of August each year. So you actually see the place being run on steam. Just come on out. We'll take anyone. We, we do tours for one. We'll do them for a hundred. It doesn't matter. They just come on out. Tours go on the hour, every hour, all year except Christmas Day. So we're open every, every day of the year from nine to five. Through the season, from May to August, while the steam's running, we actually open the cookhouse and do lunches there if any bus groups want lunches. We do a Wednesday night tour every Wednesday night and then that's followed by a dinner in the cookhouse and the first Saturday of every month there's a big cook up there where we do the roast meal and all the old sweets and stuff. So yeah, it's a pretty busy time.